Pamela, or Virtue Rewarded, is an epistolary novel first published in 1740 by the English writer Sam Richardson. Considered one of the first true English novels, it served as Richardson's version of conduct literature about marriage. Let's see a short summary of the story. Pamela Andrews is a pious, virtuous 15-year-old the daughter of impoverished labors who works for Lady B as a maid in her Bedfordshire estate. Following Lady B's death, her son, Mr. B, inherits the estate and begins to pay Pamela romantic attention. First gifting her his mother's fine clothes and then attempting to seduce her. Pamela rejects Mr. B's advances multiple times by fleeing and locking herself in her bedroom. When Mr. B attempts to pay her to keep his failed seduction secret, she confides in her best friend and housekeeper of the state, Mrs. Jervish. Later, Mr. B hides in Pamela's closet and tries to kiss her when she undresses for bed causing Pamela to consider leaving her position and returning to her parents to preserve her innocence. Angry at Pamela for telling Mr. Jervish of his attempted seductions, Mr. B informs Pamela that he intends to marry her off to Mr. Williams, his chaplain, and gives money to her parents to persuade them to give consent. Pamela refuses the engagement and decides to leave the state, but Mr. B intercepts her letters to her parents and tells them she is having an affair with a poor clergyman and that he will send her to a safe place to preserve her chastity. Pamela is taken to Mr. B's Lincolnshire estate by Mr. B's servant Monsieur Coburn, where she begins a journal with the intention of sending it to her parents. The Lincolnshire housekeeper, Mr. Jokes, is an unwomanly devoted to Mr. B and keeps Pamela as her bedfellow. Mr. B promises he won't approach Pamela without her leave and stays away from the state for some time. As Pamela is mistreated by Mrs. Jokes, she begins communicating with Mr. Williams by letters, which they leave for one another in the gardens. After Mr. Jokes beats Pamela after she calls her a Jezebel, Mr. Williams entreats the village gentry for help. Though they pity Pamela, they too are loyal to Mr. B and are convinced a seduction would either not occur or be inconsequential due to Pamela's low social standing. Mr. William proposes marriage to her to help her escape the state and Mr. B advances, but shortly after is attacked and beaten by robbers. Pamela attempts to flee home to her parents, but is terrified by two cows she mistakes for bulls. Mr. Williams accidentally reveals his correspondence with Pamela to Mrs. Jokes and so Mr. B has him arrested, announcing that he will marry Pamela to one of his servants. Desperate Pamela attempts unsuccessfully to escape by climbing a wall and injured gives up. Mr. B returns and offers Pamela a list of conditions he would meet should she accept his end in marriage, but she refuses, telling her reluctance to think about her social status. In league with Mrs. Jokes, Mr. B molests Pamela while she's in bed, dressed as the housemaid Nan. Pamela is sent into hysteria and seems likely to die. Mr. B repents and is kinder in his seductions. Pamela implores him to stop altogether. Mr. B implies he loves Pamela, but he will not marry her due to her social status. Pamela hides a parcel of letters to her parents in the garden, but they are sized by Mr. Jokes, who gives them to Mr. B. He sympathizes with Pamela, 
on reading her account on their relationship and once again proposes. Pamela, still doubtful of his intentions, begs him to let her return. Though vexed, he does so. On leaving, Pamela is strangely sad, and on her way home, he sends her an apologetic letter that prompts her to realize she is, in fact, in love. When she hears that he is still, he returns to him. The two reunite and become engaged, and Pamela explains that she rejects Mr. Advances because she feared he would attempt to take advantage of her without marrying her. Mr. Williams is released from prison, and the neighbor gentry come to the estate and admire Pamela. Pamela's father arrives at the estate, fearing that she accepts Mr. B's proposal by force, but is reassured when he sees her happy. Pamela and Mr. B get married. Pamela and Mr. B return to Bedfordshire. They visit the farmhouse, where they meet Mr. B's daughter and learn that her mother now lives married in Jamaica. Pamela proposes taking the girl home with them. The neighborhood gentry, who once despite Pamela, now praise her.